Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer on the great solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul. Preaching about them, Pope Francis highlighted their and our call to three things, prayer, faith, and witness. He said, the first community was a church at prayer. Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. The community of Peter and Paul teaches us that the church at prayer is a church on her feet, strong, moving forward. Indeed, a Christian who prays is a Christian who is protected, guarded, and sustained, and above all, who is never alone. Faith. God does not take his children out of the world or away from evil, but he does grant them strength to prevail. How many forces in the course of history have tried and still do to destroy the church from without as well as within, but they themselves are destroyed and the church remains alive and fruitful. Everything passes, only God remains. Indeed, kingdoms, peoples, cultures, nations, ideologies, powers have passed, but the church, founded on Christ, notwithstanding the many storms and our many sins, remains ever faithful to the deposit of faith shown in service. For the church does not belong to popes, bishops, priests, nor the lay faithful. The church in every moment belongs solely to Christ. Witness, a church or a Christian who does not give witness is sterile, like a dead person who thinks they are alive, like a dried up tree that produces no fruit, an empty well that offers no water. The church has overcome evil thanks to the courageous, concrete, and humble witness of her children.